Hi, it's a constant angler. Uh, as you can see, I've got myself another little cheap BFS reel. Why did I buy this reel? Well, I want this is the cheapest reel I can get directly in the UK. I got it from Needham Specialist Tackle, uh, based in Nottingham, I think they are. I might be wrong there, but you can online. Um, and Jamie at Needham has provided excellent service. This reel cost me £45, give or take 5p, delivered. Um, so it's about the cheapest thing I could find that I felt was, there's probably something cheaper, but I felt uh, might be reliable and worth a gamble. And if I was starting BFS, um, I might be looking at getting. So this is basically based around somebody who wants to start BFS, wants to, uh, you know, is on a limited budget and wants to give it a go, but wants to have a go at sort of fish, sort of perch and chub and pike and maybe bass and peacock bass, things like that. But not necessarily for small trout and micro lures, slub two gram lures, because I'm pretty sure this won't do that. You'd need to get the Dark Wolf Ultra for that, if you're looking at a budget reel. And incidentally, these are on AliExpress on sale at the moment, because they're bringing out a new reel. I think it's called the Genius, which will pretty much be a modified version of that. Guys, I've so, used this lure and video before and I think it's three and a half grams. This is sort of the limits of the setup I would imagine. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's only a shallow diving crank this but It's going out there. If I was on a clear canal, I'd be very happy with it. Didn't have that crankbait trace, it'd be even better. So, what do we get? Well, it's a nice looking reel, isn't it? Let's uh, get rid of the box a minute. Uh, it's a matte black, uh, sorry, not matte black, it's a gloss black finish. As I say, it's called the Hurricane. It's a 50 size reel and it's made by Surinoya. It's actual uh, number there is HE50L. Um, what's it feel like? That feels pretty darn smooth to me. Uh, there's degrees of smooth, obviously, but for a reel of that price, you know, £40, that's a pretty good offering, I think. Um, it feels quite solid, you know, there is a bit of wiggle room there. Maybe that you might not get on a Shimano and that kind of thing, or a dearer budget reel. But, I'm not quite impressed. You've got your magnetic uh, adjustment there. Uh, you, sorry, your, your dial for your magnets magnets even uh and it goes from max to minimum 10 9 8 it's quite easy quite audible you could probably hear that yourself uh quite impressed with that it's all very positive talking about positivity if you listen to the intention knob adjustment very positive how have i got that set up it's quite tight at the moment let's take it off and hint yeah it's starting to wobble a little very positive for the adjustment now i can hear that rather than feel it so i'll take that back a click Yeah, very barely moving there. That's about how I'd, I'd set it up. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the uh, thumb bar. Very positive. Everything seems to be very positive. Loud, even. But I like that. Um, you know, winding it, it doesn't sound loud. It's not a particularly noisy reel. It's not quiet like a Shimano out of bearing. Uh, let's have a look at the star drag. Yeah, very audible, isn't it? Yeah, like that. Does it have a drag clicker? No, it doesn't. So that's that's a down, but what do you expect for uh, a 40 pound reel? Um, it's got four kilos of drag um, and it feels quite smooth. So what's it spin like? Well, let's put the, with the uh, brakes on max. Doesn't spin much at all, does it? That's because it's absolutely packed with grease in there. I can tell you that. I'll show you in a minute. Let's take it down to zero. Yeah, it spins all right, but I mean, you'd expect the reel to spin longer than that. And by cleaning the bearings out with acetone or, or nail varnish, varnish remover, you'll uh, get all the grease out. And then you put a drop of, or two of oil in there. Um, they pack it with grease to protect it in transit. So to take the end plate off, you've got your TSU, your SUI, as we call it, for Suranoia. Press that button and twist it upwards. Pop it off. Uh, pop that down a minute. There's your fixed magnet array, as we call it. It's got six magnets there, and, and basically the ideal is as you turn the dial to more, it will come out and affect the spool more. As you minimise, 
the braking settings, it will pull away from the spool and affect the spool less. Figured that would be a good thing to use. So it's probably about five grams. I was going to wait on it, but it's probably somewhere around, about, I would guess, the lot, the two together, around seven grams. So on my little hurricane here, it's casting that nicely. It's just whether it can be used for perch fishing, to be honest. In the UK, BFS. <sighs> Difficult to cast that. So there's a plate that it has the effect on there and as you can see it's ported it has lots of holes in it um i'm not going to weigh it i mean i do that with top end reels but not not a bottom end reel but it doesn't feel particularly light or particularly heavy there's the bearing and as i said it's packed with grease let's try to get the camera to focus on that on the spindle and in there there'll be loads of grease which is what's slowing it up because that bearing's not spinning much at all to be honest uh, it's got a nice pin instead of the uh silly c clip that you get on the dark wolf which is the downside of that reel it's the only thing i can really fault it on and uh, it's ported inside as well but yeah it feels solid enough and you have a long spindle one piece spindle so if we pop that back in which it does very positively pop the end plate back on which it does very positively and we're away again casting beautifully a little overhead there I'm not going to do all that how low can I go on the brakes and all that that's not what I'm interested in with this reel it's more you know would it fish for perch I'm fishing for perch I'm using shaky heads neds crankbaits open jigs it's doing it uh, what else do we need to know what's the handle size like compared to the dark wolf ultra pretty much the same um, it's not carbon as that, it's, uh, I don't know, we'll find out in a minute, and it's got EVA foam grips on the end. What I don't like is this little bit there, that's that uh, handle retention uh, knob, so you've got a little screw there, cross head screw, this is plastic, but I suppose they're going to make cut back somewhere, these are better, yeah. If that breaks, I'm sure you can pick up a cheap one on AliExpress to replace and put it on there. Uh, it, I, that to me won't take much to break that, yet, but it, you know, it's kind of out of the way, isn't it? You've got to really uh, manage to do that somehow. It's not going to happen easily. Um, you've got your level wind. It's not conical. 
I mean, it's cone towards the front from wider at the back to a smaller point at the front, but it is elliptical and it is ceramic line guide uh, lined. So you have your ceramic line guide. Um, let's have a look at uh, spool capacities. 0.16 millimeters, 120 meters. 0.18, 96 meters. 0.2, 80 meters. I never, for what I do, BFS was, put more than 50 meters on a spool because it helps with backlashes, that kind of thing. You get less wrap ups. If you are fishing for fish that tend to run, then you're going to have to put a bit more on, but you'll have to adjust your braking and your casting style. Keep everything smooth anyway. That's the big best thing I can tell you with BFS casting. Keep it smooth. The juddier you are, the more problems you have. Um, talking about problems you might have, uh, what's the uh, the tolerance between the spool and the frame? Yeah, it looks pretty darn good, actually. It's pretty tight. It's not maybe as tight as the Dark Wolf is, but that's renowned for it. Um, but, you know, we're not going so light with our lines that we're fishing for trout with this reel. You know, we're, we're probably putting 8, 10, 12 pound braid on there. Uh, with a uh, fluorocarbon letter or fluorocarbon straight through. So we're not necessarily using such fine diameter lines as we might be, say, if we were using this one or for trout with sub two gram lures. So I'm expecting this will cover uh, the basis for perch and chub um, in the UK, uh, but I won't be using it as an out and out trout fishing reel. Um, not say you won't do it, but uh, normally you have to upgrade the bearings and the uh, brakes to do that. So it's a pretty nice offering, isn't it? It's, it's a nice looking reel. Is it uh, how low profile is it? Well, it's nowhere near the profile of the uh, the Ultra, but what do you expect? But it's a 50 size reel. It's about the same size as the Dark Wolf, the original Dark Wolf, Spirit Foxes, that kind of thing. So it's a low profile reel anyway. So unless you've got tiny hands, you're, in, you're not going to struggle. Uh, it's heavier than the Dark Wolf Ultra, you know. But that's the gearing and things like that, which we'll go into now. But, you know, first off, yeah, it looks quite good. Like, it's a nice looking reel, feels quite smooth. Uh, it has a gear ratio of 6 to 6 to 1, so not as fast as Dot Wolf Ultra, which is 7 to 1 to 1, I think. Uh, double check that, 7 to 1 to 1. Not a lot of difference in it. But the lower the uh, gear ratio, the more torque you tend to get on a reel. So it might handle a slightly bigger um, fish than... Um, the uh the ultra will uh so let's have a look at the box and let's get some of the specs for you that we haven't mentioned already so hopefully if focus on that i'll put it on the table it definitely will it has a polyamide frame and side cover now i'm thinking plastic when i hear that uh you know it feels like that but it'll do the job four plus one stainless steel bolt bearings so it's not an awful lot, but they seem decent and it seems smooth. It has precision hard brass driver gear and pinion gear. Brass is reliable, but it's heavy, so there's where your weight's coming from. Ceramic line guide, which we've already measured, mentioned. Uh, gear ratio 6 to 6 to 1. Hard aluminium handle arm and EVA handle knobs. So it, the, the handle is aluminium, it's not plastic, so that's got some life in it. CNC machined aluminium shallow spool. So it's a decent spool, it's well made spool. Hopefully it'll take a bit of abuse. Uh, if we look at a few more specs here now. Is it that 4 kilos of drag, which is about 10 kilos or so, I'll try and pop it in there, exactly what it is. Weighs 185 grams, so it's quite heavy. It does feel heavier in the hand, but unless you've got half weights or something, you're not gonna have a problem. Made in China, obviously, it's so annoying. So, initial impressions. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the real, uh, initially on the unboxing side of things, I'll get out on the bank and we'll see what, what's possible with it. So yeah, let's see what happens. I uh, hope that helps you. Uh, cheers to Constant Angler. Please like and subscribe and share and hit the notification bell if you are that impressed. <laughs> cheers now.